Good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great week. Today we are doing another food video because people seem to love food videos and I love food. I'm a Taurus, I'm a foodie, so we out here making more food videos. But I wanted to do something kind of different. So obviously it is still Veganuary and I am not vegan. I have very minimal dietary requirements. I'm just very picky with food. So first I was like, okay, I'll do like eating vegan for 24 hours. And then I was like, actually, instead of me choosing the foods, I'm gonna get actual vegans, like the experts to choose what I eat. I have asked a few vegans I follow on Instagram, on YouTube, to choose some vegan meals for me. I feel like there's so many vegan options now, but my thing is, right, as a true foodie, and someone who doesn't really have many dietary restrictions, as a true foodie, and someone who doesn't really have many dietary restrictions or requirements, I wanna find out the tea on vegan food, like, you know, you hear vegan saying like vegan pizza or like vegan ice cream and everything is nice, but it, I always think, I'm like, is it nice because you're a vegan and like this is your only option? Or is it actually nice? Like coming from someone who, you know, is a meat eater, dairy, all that kind of fun stuff. Before we have breakfast, if you like my vibe, if you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button. We're nearly at 6,000 subscribers, which is wild. Saturday, 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 Saturday. If you have watched my vlogs, you will know that is my Saturday song. And I haven't done it in a minute because I haven't been doing a weekly vlog. So I said I would add that in there <laughs> before we go have breakfast. breakfast is served. It was actually Miss Laura's views, Laura Young, she's an Irish YouTuber and friend, and she picked out my breakfast. So I messaged her, I was like, Laura, pick me a breakfast. And she chose my favorite, avocado toast. So I made avocado toast on sourdough with vegan pesto. So I'm actually delighted about this because avocado toast is like one of my favorite breakfasts. So I hope the vegan pesto is nice though because usually I have regular. And then I also have this, which I feel like suits the video. I got this this morning in a delivery. It's an immune health orange mango, like do you know those health shots? I feel like most vegans are very healthy. I could be wrong, I don't know. That's just my impression. And then I have this as well that I got in Lidl and it's like a little brand BCAA drink, but it says sugar free and vegan. I'm sure most carbonated drinks are vegan, but it says it on it. Uh, shake before use, consume daily for immune system support, contains vitamin A, B6, C, zinc, selenium. Yeah, so it has turmeric, ginger, uh, and loads of other things. I didn't like order this, Just this just came with a delivery. I've never had one of these health shot things before, so I'm intrigued to, why did I smell it? Bottoms up. <coughs> Do you know what? It actually wasn't too bad. And now the taste test of the avocado toast. Top tier. Oh my God, this is so good. have my avocado toast on like a bagel, but I think sourdough is the way forward. I never, it's not that I don't like sourdough, I wouldn't choose it, I just never buy like a loaf of sourdough. As you can see, I absolutely <laughs> butchered the loaf, but it tastes so good. Like this tastes better than my usual, my usual avocado toast that I make. If you know me, if you've watched this channel before, you know I am a white monster gal when it comes to caffeine. I don't like coffee, so, White Monster is my vibe, but I said I would try this. I'm sure White Monster is probably vegan anyway, 
but I said I would try this one. So it is a mango flavored BCAA drink, sugar-free, 180 mg of caffeine. So, okay, yum, that's great. It really does taste like mango. And it was only like a euro in little. So yeah, if you have a little near you, and you're not really a caffeine, like coffee kind of girl, definitely go for that. Honestly, this was one of the nicest avocado toasts I've ever had. That is the video off to a great start. Breakfast was amazing. Thank you, Laura, for the suggestion of avocado toast. I feel like there's not too many like vegan style breakfasts that I would have not liked, if that makes sense. So yeah, I will see you at lunchtime unless I get peckish in the meantime and want a snack. Lunch was actually chosen by Miss Hannah Nuzum. Nuzum, I really don't know how to pronounce her second name, so Hannah, I'm sorry if I butchered you, but for lunch, we got Subway. And yeah, Hannah said either Domino's or Subway. She said she'd never tried the Subway. So I was like, look, if Hannah's never tried it, let's let's take one. And also I've heard people talk about the vegan Subways. So Subway actually, I went in, the girl was lovely. I didn't ask her name because I always forget to do that, but she was so sound. She took the name of my YouTube channel because I told her what I was doing because I got two subs. So I got the new Taste Like Chicken sub and I got the meatball one because I've heard about the meatball one. And also if I go to Subway, I either get a chicken one or a meatball one. Now I haven't had a Subway in a while. So will I go for the chicken or the meat first? Oh, also I got, they have vegan cookies as well, uh, which the girl in Subway said were stunning. So I think we're gonna try the meatball one first. I got the garlic aioli, the vegan aioli, vegan cheese, lettuce, and this is the meatless marinara. So let, let's, I'm, <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous. Okay, this low key tastes like the normal meatball marinara. What? Like, look at that. It literally looks like and tastes like the meatless, the, the normal, the meat version. What the hell, Subway? The only difference for me is normally I get the Chipotle Southwest, but obviously I couldn't get that sauce because that's not vegan. that was sensational if I was to go to Subway again I'd just get like a meatless meatball marinara and then Subway sauce what the hell I thought this would be hard okay so now we're going in to the vegan taste like chicken so it doesn't really look like chicken because I saw the girl in the shop doing the thing and it's like the chicken is kind of like brown. In this one, I got chicken, sweet chili sauce, uh, the mayonnaise, the vegan mayonnaise again, and lettuce. And oh, vegan cheese as well. Well, that's, I don't know. I don't think that's a bit of me at all. I don't think. No, this is not doing it for me now at all. No, no, it's fine, but it's just, I don't know, is it the brown for me? Is it the, like there is, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it tastes like chicken. Like maybe a little, like maybe if you're vegan, maybe if you're vegan, it does, but like, it's not the, like I wouldn't, I would not order her again. So now I'm gonna try the cookie. And if you know me, honeys, if you are subscribed to my channel, if you've watched my other videos, you will know I am a cookie connoisseur. I love a good cookie. I'm very picky with my cookies. 
The girl in there told me that these are amazing. It smells the exact same as a cookie. It doesn't have that like healthy smell. Do you know what I like? If people make like vegan desserts sometimes like you can tell. Like it's it's fine, it tastes good, but it doesn't taste like a dessert. You know, it has that healthy vibe. Subway. Oh my God. This is amazing. Vegan double chocolate. Oh my God. This is absolutely 1 million out of 10. Why is this so amazing? Like it's fully like look when you break it in half, like it's gooey, it's chewy, it's chocolatey. And like I'm not normally a double chocolate cookie kind of gal, like I like like a regular chocolate chip cookie. A million out of ten. Okay, so boy, go off. I'm very happy to be honest that I went for the meatless meatball marinara and didn't just get the taste like chicken because the taste like chicken is not, it's not a bite, but if you like the original meatball marinara, try the vegan one because it's top tier. Also, cookies. Like I'm so sad this is nearly over. That is lunch done. Shout out to Subway for really doing the most and coming through with their meatless sub and their cookies. If you have a Subway near you and you're vegan and you want like a cookie that honestly just tastes like a non-vegan cookie like go to Subway. This is not sponsored so I'm gonna stop blowing smoke up their ass now and I will see you at dinner time. Okay honestly though today's going so much better than I had expected. Like I thought I'd be hungry, unsatisfied and just feeling like ugh, I can't wait for this day to be over but so far like the avocado toast was actually better than like my regular avocado toast that I make. The vegan Subway, the meat, meatless one, was better or just as good as a regular vegan, as a regular Subway, like with meat. The vegan cookie was just as good as the regular vegan cookies. So my dinner and my snacks later and my dessert better not leave me down because right now I'm like, okay, I could do this vegan thing or at least like one day a week or kind of try and implement it a bit more because I do realize it's better for the world and the universe and stuff if we all kind of try to reduce our meat consumption. So yeah, lads, I'm telling you, go to Subway, get the vegan, honestly, I wouldn't put you wrong. It is quite a few hours later that Subway <laughs> filled me up so much. It was so nice. And now it is dinner time. And for dinner, Miss Keelan Moncrief, gave me a homemade burrito to make. Now, she did give me a Mexican rice recipe, but I actually didn't have the ingredients. So I just have like a regular Mexican rice, but I checked, uh, there's no milk or dairy or anything non-vegan in it. So I'm making a homemade burrito. I got this vegan chipotle mayonnaise refried beans and this is the bit I'm kind of a bit iffy I'm not a bean gal Keelan said refried beans guacamole which adore and salsa but I really don't like but I'm just gonna have to do them do you have to cook them you microwave them for three minutes so I'm going to make the vegan homemade burrito for dinner so shout out to Keelan for that everyone who has actually recommended me food today is a youtuber and they're all Irish so I'll link them all below um, so Laura, Keelan and Hannah. For dessert, I contacted Miss Olivia Neal. This video is for Olivia Neal. So if you're not Olivia Neal, keep scrolling or tag her. Hey girly pop, I want you to choose a vegan breakfast, lunch or snack for me to have in a YouTube video that I'm recording. I made one of these already, but I look like shit. So I did it again. Now, Olivia Neal <laughs> is Irish as well. And she's obviously, a, she's, hard to get in touch with you know <laughs> she has like over 600,000 subscribers I made a TikTok trying to get her attention she's not on Twitter I sent her a message on Instagram but she didn't see it so 
For dessert, I chose a vegan Ben and Jerry's um, because Olivia like wasn't available. But I'm just gonna say that Olivia chose this like in spirit. So <laughs> if this video happens to find Olivia, uh, hey girly pop and next time you can choose something for me that's vegan but so far today has been so fine like I'm really satisfied not hungry at all and like not craving any non-vegan foods I'm genuinely shocked and surprised like in a good way you know okay 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 so it is dinner time and Miss Keelan Moncrief has given me a vegan burrito homemade now the only thing I'm a bit nervous about here is the refried beans. I don't know, refried beans just <laughs> kind of scare me. I don't like the texture of beans. I, I don't like beans. I only put a little bit in, <laughs> but yeah, I have everything in here. And then I actually forgot to put in the salsa. So I just put the salsa on the plate. It doesn't look appealing. So yeah, are we ready? Okay, are we ready? I'm actually, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's go. Do you know what? Once I get over the texture of the beans, it's that beany texture that I don't like. But once I get over that, it's after I'm real. Sorry, why are all the vegans queens? This is why I did this just this way, because I was like, if anyone's gonna know what like good recommendations or good vegan food to eat it's vegan people like i could have like i probably would have chose like fake crispy chicken nuggets or something which do you know what are supposed to be nice sorry this is malibu coke zero which obviously is vegan i think i hope no one told me to have that i feel like it is though but yeah oh my god Kieran, thank you um wow Like, just like the vegan Subway on my avocado toast this morning, I would opt for this again over like a regular burrito. Like, I wouldn't feel like I had, I would have to add meat to my burritos now. And I would get the meatless Subway and I would have the vegan pesto and sourdough. Like, I could definitely implement more vegan meals into my life, I feel. Now I know Keelan did give me like the Mexican rice recipe, but I couldn't, I didn't have the the garlic salt thing and I didn't have the chicken stuff and I know I could have bought that, but I went one place and they didn't have it. I, I already went, I went to four shops for the refried beans and like four different shops as well for the sourdough and none of them had that chicken powder stuff. As well, I'm still not over those Subway cookies. Like, I don't know what Subway did. If you are vegan and you want like an amazing cookie from someone who isn't vegan and like a cookie connoisseur, because I am, get those. So yeah, that is dinner done. Cheers, happy Saturday. I'm, I'm actually thriving. Like I was afraid to do this video, especially when I decided to let other people choose my meals because again, I'm a fussy eater but I'm actually so happy I did it. So I will see you probably in about half an hour, an hour, three seconds for you for my dessert and to finish off the day. Will the Ben and Jerry's, now I do love ice cream as well. So will the Ben and Jerry's be, live up to expectations? Like I've had the regular Ben and Jerry's, I've had the low calorie Ben and Jerry's. Will the vegan Ben and Jerry's tickle my fancy because I'm very fussy. Okay, so final meal of the night. And like, yeah, part of me is hoping this is kind of a bit of a fail because the whole video has been so fine. If you want me to try a week of trying to keep vegan, I can definitely do that. I mean, comment below, give a thumbs up. Um, so yeah, I am having the Ben & Jerry's peanut nutter cookies, non-dairy ice cream, vanilla with chocolatey cookies and peanut butter swirls. So if you watch my 10,000 calorie challenge, you will know I'm weird. I put my Ben and Jerry's into a bowl and do the whole mixy thing. And apparently a lot of people actually do this with their ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do. Like I put it in and I swirl it around and I make it this 
consistency. It's not like soupy. It's If you do it, you will know. You just have to mix it a little bit. And it's honestly 10 out of 10. It looks like normal ice cream. Like I've never had vegan ice cream before. I don't think, I'm not sure. But anyway, so this is what I do. I just kind of mix it around to get it a bit melty, but not too melty. So it actually kind of looks like an Oreo situation. So this is the consistency I like. I mean, try it if you haven't. Okay, I'm so nervous because I'm like, I want this to be nice, obviously, because I'm eating it. But also I'd like if it didn't really taste like ice cream, just so like my day wasn't that easy, you know? Why is, why are all vegan foods actually nice? Like, it, was this the secret? It's so nice, it's like peanut buttery, it has like Oreos. I'd be like, I'd choose that again over like the regular one, if that makes sense. And my big thing, like sorry to any vegans watching, but I would have always been like, they're just saying that's nice because they're vegan and like they really don't have much options. And like, maybe they're not as big of a foodie or just like, they're so used to eating vegan foods that their taste buds have changed and like it's nice for them but like for a normal well not normal person but like a meat eater or a dairy eater it, it's not great i'm not missing ben and jerry's killed it subway killed it my avocado toast with vegan pesto was way better and the sourdough and miss keelan moncrief killed it with her burrito recipe so yeah i'm absolutely now 10 out of 10 for this one. So yeah, that is the end of the day. I don't think I'm gonna eat anything else seeing as it is 20 to 12 at night time. Um, so 24 hours of being a vegan complete. I think I did great. Like I love that for me. I'm a fussy eater. I like meat, dairy. I have no real restrictions in my diet. So for someone like me to be able to finish today and feel full and satisfied is 10 out of 10. And um, if you want me to try a week of being vegan or a month, I can try that, but only if this video gets a certain amount of likes and comments, so smash the like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.